Hello, dear friends. Today we will be reading The Grass Patch Project by Molly Blaisdell. The book is beautifully illustrated by James Dembski Jr. Jason looked at his new school. His old school had been in the country. Huge fields of grass had grown around it. No grass grew near his new school in the city. He missed seeing those fields. He was still wishing for green grass when the bell rang. He hurried to his classroom. Jason sat at his desk. This was his second day at Sunrise Elementary. Everything was still new. But today it was time to get to work. Our Earth Day project is eight weeks away, his teacher, Mrs. McVeigh, said. Emily raised her hand. She asked, What's Earth Day? Earth Day is on April 22nd, said Mrs. McVeigh. We have a party for our planet. All of the classes do something that helps Earth. What kinds of things? Emily asked. Recycling, cleanup, tree planting, or anything that helps Earth, said Mrs. McVeigh. There are prizes for the best projects. Does anyone have any ideas for our class project? Jason raised his hand. It was his turn to speak up. I do, he said. What's your idea? Mrs. McVeigh asked. We could plant grass, Jason said. My old school had lots of grass around it. I saw a great place in front of this school where we could plant grass. Emily raised her hand. We could plant a tree, she said. Everyone will do that, Ray said. I think we should pick up trash. That would really help Earth. How would grass help our planet? That's a good question, Mrs. McVeigh said. Jason knew growing grass was a good idea. His hand shot up. Grass is a plant, he said. Plants make clean air for us. Are there other ways grass might help our planet? Mrs. McVeigh asked. When it rains, water washes soil onto our sidewalks. Emily said. Grass would keep the soil in place. Any more thoughts? Mrs. McVeigh asked. Some farm animals eat grass. Jamal said. Grass is food. I think it is clear that grass helps Earth, said Mrs. McVeigh. Let's vote for the class project. Raise your hand when I call out your favorite. Five kids voted for planting a tree. Three kids voted for picking up trash. Everyone else voted for growing grass. Mrs. McVeigh made Jason the team leader of the project. Then she made Ray his helper. Jason knew there would be hard work ahead. The next day, Jason showed Ray his plan. They needed rakes, spades, and watering cans. They also needed compost, which adds minerals to the soil. And they needed lots of grass seed. Jason gave the list to Ray. I think growing grass is an okay idea. But I think it will be too much work, said Ray. Soon Jason, Ray, and their classmates had everything they needed. It was time to start planting the grass seed. First, they dug up the patch where they were going to plant the grass. They dug about six inches deep. Jamal and Emily were in charge of spreading the compost. All of the kids in the class helped mix it into the soil. Next, they smoothed the area with rakes. Ray was in charge of spreading the grass seed. It was the biggest job. Ray sprinkled the seeds evenly on the soil. Everyone used rakes to softly mix the soil and seeds together. Ray said mixing the seeds into the soil would help keep them from blowing away in the wind. Okay, everyone. Jason said. Get your watering cans ready. The class watered the patch until the soil was damp, not muddy. 
Twice a day, the class had to water the grass patch. It was important for the soil to be wet for the grass to grow. On the fourth day, Ray spoke up. Where is the grass? He asked. We aren't going to win the prize. The grass will grow. Jason said. Just wait. Jason tried to sound sure. But he wasn't sure. The next day, there still wasn't any grass. Where's the grass? Asked Jamal. Jason stared at his shoes. Mrs. McVeigh said, it could be another week before the first blades of grass pop up. Let's give the grass some more time. The next week, Jason went to check on the grass patch. He saw green fuzz instead of just soil. Shoots of grass had come up. Everyone was happy. Six weeks after spreading the grass seed, the class checked their grass patch. The grass was two inches high. You had a great idea, Ray said. Later that day, it was time to choose the winners of the school's Earth Day contest. Tell us about your project. One judge said. We grew a grass patch, said Jason. Grass makes our school beautiful, Emily said. Grass is strong too, Jamal said. Kids can run and play on it. The class waited for the judges to vote. Ray went up to Jason. I wasn't sure the grass would really grow. Ray said. I know. Jason said. But it did grow, and I had fun. Ray said. Even if we don't win, I think your idea was the best one. Thanks. Jason said. He liked growing the grass patch. But he liked making a new friend even more. At the end of the day, the judges announced the winners of the contest. Mrs. McVeigh's class wins for their grass patch project, said one judge. All of the kids jumped up and down. Jason and Ray jumped the highest.